are now at the point of the Premier League season where we can tell who are contenders and who are pretenders. And most importantly, which teams are in a bit of strife? So I'm going to combine the three worst teams in the Premier League at the moment, Burnley, Newcastle, and Norwich. This is all based on the table at the time of recording. We're gonna take six players of our choice from the bottom three teams, put them onto the same team. And then from there, I'm gonna see within three seasons, if we can turn this team into a Premier League title winner. So I have put the players on to Norwich City. As you can see, six players from Burnley, six players from Newcastle, six players from Norwich. Also, you will see in the reserves here, I do have a couple of Norwich players, but that's just because I couldn't have like, uh, if I got rid of these guys, I would have no players in this squad and I wouldn't have been able to do that. So it's essentially just the worst rated Norwich players. And also keeping things fair, Brandon Williams, I'm gonna recall him or send him back to Manchester United. I've kind of stuffed myself up though. I kept Billy Gilmore and Ozan Kabak as two of my selections in the Norwich side. They're both on loan at the club. So I'm gonna have to do some do some workarounds at the end of the season to get them in permanently. Also, I have decided to name my manager Stevie Stevie Gerrard only because he's been linked with the Newcastle job. But yeah, my manager looks nothing like him. It's all just in the name. First piece of business on our quest to a hopeful Premier League title. It's a groundbreaker. It's sending Josh Sargent out on loan. And the next piece of movement is gonna be sending Christos Zolas out on loan. Wouldn't you imagine it? Adam Ida. All good things come in threes. He's off to a season-long low move at Braga. Finally going to have a player out on a permanent transfer, however. One of the guys we brought across from Burnley, Josh Brownhill, is headed to Ellen Road for 10.5 mil. And we make a massive pickup in the side already. Already, Naby Keita from Liverpool, the Guinean midfielder, joining us for 29.2 mil. Don't worry about season number three. We might win the Premier League this year. Continuing the move of loans though, Nathan Collins out on loan to Bochum. That is actually a considerably quieter window than I expected to start off this challenge. Only bringing in Naby Keita, Brownhill out of the club. Nobody was accepting offers for most of the players I transfer listed. But with the additions there, this is how the starting 11 looks like. It's exactly the same, only just bringing in Kaita and getting the morale and sharpness and all that good stuff up a bit. But really, surely, given we're combining the three worst teams, the goal for this season has to be avoiding relegation. That is a good start to the challenge. Halfway through the season, we are currently ninth in the Premier League here with the relegation super team. Can you even call it a super team at this point? It's just like, the relegation mediocre team, but we're sitting ninth. I'll take that so far. Again, it has been an absolute grind trying to get players into this squad, but I'm going to spend the money that I have left in my transfer budget. I couldn't make a massive signing, so I'm just essentially making sure that I have money to have next season. So we spent eight million pounds bringing Marin across from Cagliari. And we finished season number one of the challenge in ninth position. So we're not going to finish the challenge in one season, nor did I expect, but Luckily, we have not been relegated from the Premier League. So a few of these guys, they're missing out on what's probably going to happen and that's getting relegated. At the other end of the spectrum, it is Chelsea winning the Premier League. Of course, I would have been so surprised if this wasn't the case, but Newcastle United and Burnley have both been relegated. They're relegated alongside Brighton. Leeds United have won the FA Cup. Fair play to them. Whilst we lost in the third round to Crawley, what is doing? We lost the Carabao Cup final. That would have been sick if we'd won silverware in our first season and got to play like Conference League or Europa League next season. All right, let's go talk to Schalke and get Ozan Kabak back on a permanent deal. I have used my mods to get enough finances to sign Ozan Kabak, but he's going to be playing again for us in season number two. And let's go do the same thing with Billy Gilmore. Let's go talk to Chelsea and bring him back on a permanent deal. There we go, lads. This Scottish wonder kid, Billy Gilmore, joining us again at Carrow Road in season number two. Season one with the relegation mediocre team. It's a good start. Ninth in the Premier League. Let's build upon it and see if we can shock the world by winning the Premier League next year. Kicking off the second season here with a player departure. One of the guys we brought across from Newcastle United, Isaac Hayden, is off to Valencia. And the Kiwi King himself is off to the fashion capital of Europe as we sell Chris Wood to AC Milan for 23.5 mil. Another one of our Newcastle players out of the club, Jamala sells off to Villarreal. No idea who this guy is, Daniel Sinani. I don't even know what flag that is to be honest, but it's not the Dutch flag, it's the opposite. But Dan Daniel Sinani is off the young boys. Uh, <laughs> I saw this, I saw this as a possibility and I was like, surely not. 
Surely not. Yeah, you, you, don't adjust your monitors. Don't adjust your phones. Cristiano Ronaldo is a Norwich player. He had 12 months remaining on his contract. I was like, screw it. We want to go for the title this year. The goal is to win within three years. When you can get a 90-rated striker for 45 million pounds, you get a 90-rated striker and you get Cristiano Ronaldo. Something that we will probably never see in real life. But Cristiano Ronaldo is now a Norwich City player. And we've done exactly what we were after. We've kind of taken a little bit of a loss. We spent 8 millions last year on getting Marin into the club, but we have sent him to Celta Vigo for 7.7 .7 mil. We might just be the new Wolverhampton lads. Only signing Portuguese players. That is a big pickup though. Rafael Guerrero, the Portuguese defender. An absolute steal, just like Cristiano Ronaldo had 12 months remaining on his contract. So we've gotten him under market value. Rafael Guerrero coming to the club for 33 mil, whilst Jordan Hugel is off to Angers for 1.35. <laughs> so we really have made the squad upgraded this window. Cristiano Ronaldo and Rafael Guerrero, the two Portuguese men, are surely going to help us get... I don't know if we're going to have a title-challenging side yet, but... We're definitely going to be in a lot better of a position. I mean, you look at the team now. Cristiano Ronaldo already going down to an 89. You've got players like McNeil that are growing. St. Maximin growing. The team's coming along somewhat nicely. There's still a bit of work for us to do, obviously. But right now, I am very happy with the progress we've made here with the Canaries. Somehow, despite adding Cristiano Ronaldo and Rafael Guerrero, we are currently sitting 10th in the Premier League. We've got eight draws. Stop drawing so many games. Although... The thing that makes me feel a lot better about ourselves is we're four points ahead of last year's winners, Chelsea. All right, I want to make some moves happen here in the January transfer window, fellas. Onel Hernandez, the Cuban midfielder off to Sheffield United. A big move for our backline, one of our star players, James Tarkovsky, transferred him over from Burnley, but now he stays in the Premier League, headed to Arsenal for 21.4 million pounds. You know, it's always nice to help out a club in need. It's always nice to help out the little the little fella, you know? He's trying to, trying to lift them up with us. Look, lads, this is not the way I've wanted things to go. We've made an addition to the back line, but I just couldn't get it over the line for a massive transfer. There's a few players that I have transfer listed that I've had no offers in for. It is deadline day. I've had to almost panic buy a new defender. Luis Felipe is gonna join us from Osasuna for 30 million pounds. I'm just treating him honestly as a caretaker defender and we'll upgrade and make a massive signing in season number three if, if we don't win the Prem this year. So it is a significantly better second half of the season here, lads. We finish sixth in the Premier League with Norwich City. Only got, what, like an extra four draws compared to last year. We finished 24 points behind Liverpool, but that is good momentum. I think we have Europa League football potentially next year. I could be wrong, maybe Conference League, but we finished sixth. That's a positive momentum. As long as we continue climbing up that ladder, but next year, we have to go for the title. Meanwhile, at the other end of the spectrum, it is West Brom, AFC Bournemouth, and Brentford getting relegated. I'm just happy as a Fulham fan. We're essentially in the same spot Norwich are now. Norwich and Fulham, we just keep swapping between one another. We never play each other because we're always yo-yoing between the Premier League and the Championship. I'm just glad to see Fulham have been promoted and stayed up. Hey, we've done better in the FA Cup this year, but... In a cruel sense of irony, we've lost to Burnley. The club that we took six of their best players from have knocked us out of the FA Cup. That is karma. And Newcastle went on and won the FA Cup against Brighton, who they both got relegated last year. How are the teams that we stole players from doing better in the Cup? I swear to God, what is it with us in the Carabao Cup? We lose the Carabao Cup final again. Last year it was to Tottenham. This year it is to Wolves. Why? Why? Despite a mediocre season, Cristiano Ronaldo has absolutely gone off this year. 24 goals. Take a bow. This was one of the guys that I was desperately trying to sell last season, but Jamal Lewis is finally out of the club. We've grown him up to a 78 overall and shipped him off to Bayer Leverkusen, where the German outfit give us 19 million pounds in return. I'm telling you, lads, I'm warning you, we're about to go crazy in this window. Luis Felipe... Whilst he was a caretaker, I've actually made a decent profit out of him. 41 million pounds here for the Brazilian center half, sending him off to Chelsea. And that allows us now to go and make a big time defensive signing. We've actually gone and signed a former Chelsea player as well. Kurt Zuma, 84 rated. We've made a plus three upgrade in the defense and still made 3 million pounds profit out of it as we sign him from West Ham United for 70.7. What the, what the hell did I just say? Did I just have a strong 
37.7 of the Queen's finest British pounds. There we go. You wish, Manchester United. You absolutely wish. Not a chance in this world. I'm going balls to the wall this year, lads. I'm going to absolutely decimate our squad and make sure we have the best possible starting 11. Christos Zolis, the Greek midfielder, is headed to Arsenal. Whilst Josh Sargent, the American striker, is out of the club and off to Getafe. And arguably the biggest transfer of them all, Archie Mare. He's having a mare. We're having a mare. Everybody's having a mare. He's off to the Belgian League. A big addition to the midfield here as we pick up the Algerian midfielder, Ismail Benekel, or Benacer, joining us here for 40 million pounds from AC Milan. And again, just contrasting as we send Daniel Barden off to Doncaster Rovers for 340,000 pounds. I'm really changing things up this year, lads. Joe Willock is out of the club and off to Valencia. We got 35.6 million pounds for him. I want to get another quality midfielder in. But I'm also going to go and try getting a right back here. Emerson is switching clubs in the Premier League. He's come from Tottenham to Carrow Road, coming to Norwich City here. 43.8 million pounds for the Brazilian. So we've had some big business here. Not as much as I've wanted. There's still more room for stuff to do. But 121 million pounds spent here in season number three. We are firmly pushing for that Premier League title. And we need the lads to set us up. So this is the starting 11 we have here to kick off season number three. It's definitely very balanced. Like the majority of the side is in the mid 80s right now, around that 84, 85 sort of mark. So just need the lads to really set us up here in the first half of the season. Get us within striking distance and then push even harder for a Premier League title. But let's go and check out how Norwich City are doing here on January 1. We are in the title race. There's still a bit of work to do. We are 10 points off the pace right now, but there is still hope. If we were down at about seventh or eighth, I would be absolutely distraught. I would say there's no chance, but we're 10 points off the pace. Let's go. Let's get some business done here in January and let's get that Premier League title and win the challenge. All right, I'm really throwing everything I have at this challenge. Ozan Kabak is headed to Torino. We got 50 million pounds for the Turkish defender. And Max Ahrens is also out of the club. We have sent him to Borussia Dortmund. 41 million pounds for him. We have got some real dosh to throw around now. A massive pickup for the back line here as we pick up John Stones from Manchester City. I'm just, no, the game. What? He's broken his tailbone. Are you kidding me? I got no evidence when I was signing him. It never said when I went on to him that he had a broken tailbone. Has he just done that? We've got John Stones for a cut price deal, but we're going to be out without him for eight weeks. That is not ideal. 86 rated, 29 years of age. When he comes back, he's going to be a massive addition. Oh, no. Going to make a slight upgrade in the midfield, however, as Fabian Fabian is going to join us here. The Spanish midfielder joining us from AC Milan for £60 million. We have failed the challenge. Fourth in the Prem. We've fallen off in the second half of the season. Fair play to Liverpool. That would have taken a special effort this season for us to have completed the challenge because Liverpool have almost become Centurions and Invincibles. 95 points for them, but we finished fourth in the Premier League. Are you kidding me? But at least we won the Carabao Cup. Third time lucky, lads. Can Norwich City, we've done some good progress with you, but it was not enough. Lads, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you are new around here. Thank you for watching it. It has been Jared HD here. I'll probably do a Norwich rebuild soon. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.